Hi, I'm Lindy Witten. Welcome back to my studio. Here's that original box of pastels that I bought uh, on my very tight budget. It's a Mungo soft pastel set, 64 half sticks. Here they all are. So today, for those of you who want to try pastels, you're on a really strict budget, you don't have any money, I'm going to do one with this, show you what's possible, and then we'll compare that one to the one I've done with the Mungo gallery handmade pastels and you can see the difference in the pastels but also that it's possible to do a good painting with a cheap box of pastels when you start out and you're on a tight budget. Two pieces of equipment you're going to need with your box of pastels and your paper ready to paint. Some paper toweling and some baby wipes or a wet cloth to just keep everything clean because the cheaper pastels shed a lot more dust. This is one I prepared earlier, it's just uh, alcohol inks on Yupo paper with a pastel, clear pastel primer over the top to give it some gritty surface. And I'm just going to use that to guide me in a, in a little abstract painting. With my box of pastels and my prepared paper, I'm just going to get into it. And this reminded me a little bit of some jellyfish, so that's uh, the look I'm going to go for. And I'm not using a reference for jellyfish, I'm just going to play with some of the shapes that I've got here. And there are the tentacles coming out. So the pastel goes on very cleanly and clearly. I can blend it just like I can blend with my more expensive ones. I want to give that jellyfish a bit of a glow so I'm looking now for an orangey colour. Now you might find that this is part of the problem um, with a small set you just don't have the full range of colours but I'm using an orangey sort of colour there to start me off on this. It's a bit brighter so I'm going to use that around the edges. I may even get a little bit of a red going in there combine it with my yellow and do a little bit of layering to get that orange kind of effect I want. So that's creating a nice orange to give me a sort of luminous look to my jellyfish. So you can see there's quite a lot of dust on there and I'm just going to take it and tap it there to get rid of it. And you can see the dust is falling down there. That's one of the things with the cheaper pastel. There'll be a lot more dust, but that's okay. I can use that as part of the background. Or I can take a brush and just brush it off. So normally I paint upright and then the dust will just fall down and that's not so bad. So I've got a very bright jellyfish going on there. Um, if I want to make some more of the water effects there behind it, I can just go in with some, some more sort of watery colours behind those jellyfish. And there's a range of blues in this cheaper set. So I've got some deeper ones. We're down in the more shadowed area where the, the light's not getting so much to. I'm just going around those jellyfish, mixing up those blues. I've got a very deep dark one to put down in the bottom there. But there's some greens coming through, and if I want to add to those, I can pull out my greens and get some of those different colours you get in the water as the light's coming through and then up at the top here it's much greener and lighter as the, the light comes through into the water. But I like the blue around the this sort of orangey jellyfish so I'm just going to add some of that in now. I can blend that background if I want with my finger just to give it a bit more smoother look or I could let it stay 
uh, a little bit more rough where it's picking up the texture of the primer. Here I'm just blending the background a bit. And popping it off. And then if I don't want any of the rest, I'll just brush it off like that. So there we have tablets starting to come together. And you can see all this dust here. I'm just going to move it over into one corner and I'll clean that all up with a wet wipe so it picks up the dust with the water and doesn't create a hazard in my studio. And that's another reason to have the wet wipe there. So starting off I've got that. Now because I've got the background in there I can keep adding in the little tentacles if I want and I might want to put in a few different colours coming in the tentacles and I might want to just illuminate the edge there a little bit. And inside here I might want to make it a different colour. Maybe I want to add in some purple sort of colours into the underside of the jellyfish there. And help some of those pull down into the tentacles as well. Here's another jellyfish happening over here. So again, I'm going to go with yellow. I've chosen a slightly different one, more lemony, and just doing like we're looking down onto the jellyfish this time. Uh, and I'm going to pull out that red again to make the orange look at the jellyfish. And I'm going quite deep around the edges of my jellyfish this time. Then back in again with that yellow. I'm trying to give it some sort of sense of roundness, even though we're looking down on the top, by pulling it in. Again, getting rid of that dust. And I'm going to make that side, uh, which side? This side maybe a little bit more shadowed and that side a bit more bright because it's going to be closer to the light source, which is the sun shining through the water. So that's getting a brighter edge and that one's getting a little bit of a darker edge. And then the tentacles from this one are just going to be coming sort of down. You're not going to see quite as many because we're looking from the top, you just sort of see the edges of it. Although there might be a few longer ones. Then there's another two here. And on this one, if you want to get those sort of uh, highlights you can still do that with the cheaper ones and I'm just going in with a lighter pastel here and making a sort of highlight around that part of the jellyfish I could highlight the top of the, top of the jellyfish there pull some of that down make the little some little bubbles that have been created by the water being disturbed by all the jellyfish movement so I'm just creating a few of those with one of the lighter blue pastels and I think I used to, oh that might be the white there it's got so dirty it looks pink so I'm just giving it a bit of a clean up. Yeah, that's a lighter, whiter one. Well, it's a pink really, but I can use that to give a little bit of light on the bubbles.
so I can use the bubbles to help me move through the painting and give some direction in the painting. And down here, I could put in some suggestions of some, some sort of seaweeds growing up from the floor, floor of the, the sea there. So I can put some of those waving in using the various greens that I've got. And that will help give another sense of movement. I've still got the other two jellyfish to go with and this one might get a bit of the purpley sort of treatment. So a different kind of jellyfish. And I want to give it a really deep dark interior. So I'm pulling up a very dark purple. So there we go. And it's going to have some yellow dots on this one. Jellyfish tend to be very colourful and it's going to have some very long tentacles. And they're going to sort of flare out and we'll see them coming in behind this one as well. They're very long. And here's another one coming underneath there and I'm going to make that another variation of the purple one. And here's Little tentacles are all going to go back this way. And I think I might add in some uh, other colours in there to his tentacles. So you can have a few different ones. So I'll add them in up here as well. husband had a very nasty incident with a whole lot of um, jellyfish on a holiday in Sicily last year and it was my fault because I said oh surely they're not surely they'll be all right they're only tiny I'm going in it's really hot and before I could get in he jumped in and jumped straight back out again so I was saved from the unpleasantness of it but he he got a real sting from them. So just like using a more expensive one, you can shade, you can get vibrant colour, you can make uh, small delicate objects like the bubbles it's, it's I'm not claiming it's a great composition because <laughs> it's not really I actually would have liked some of these tentacles to go a little bit further down this way I think so they're sort of coming out the bottom more that would get a bit more movement. So maybe I should have had this, instead of going across, I might adjust this slightly, make him go more that way. Just changing the colour slightly so they will go over each other. Now let's go for a pink jellyfish. And so I want to take that bit out just to use my brush again and then I'll put in these tentacles going down that way. I think that's a better set of movement. Uh, I'm going to give it some big dots. I'm also going to make it a little bit dark around this side. The 
so it will be slightly dark on that side. Now, they often have kind of a, just trying to find where I put my little bit of white there is. They often have sort of this kind of stuff. Don't know what it's called, I don't know a lot about jellyfish. But they have that white globular kind of stuff coming out with their trailing away there as well. So I'm giving it some of that. The last thing I'm going to do is I would like, I don't like even numbers, so I'm going to add in another one. I think I might just put another small one up here. Uh, and it, it, the underpainting is a bit purple. I think I'm going to go for an orange one again on this little one here. So around it comes. Yep. Like so. And put in the yellow to make the orange. but leave it a bit darker over this side. And then underneath it, it's going to have the darker purple. And it's going to have some of that and then the tentacles. Uh, let's go for some of these tentacles. And then I'm just going to reinstate a few of the bubbles with the sharp end of this. And a little bit of a sharp end of the white. Give it some contrast. The variation in the seaweed colour. And it all helps to create that dance of interplay between the the water, the movement of the water, the movement of the jellyfish. Uh, make that one quite a bit darker down the bottom there. A little bit more mysterious and deep and dark. I just need to go back in with those tentacles now. So you don't always have to use an expensive box of pastels to have a really enjoyable time and to create a vibrant painting. You will create more dust and you might not always have the colour you want. You might find they're not as subtle as the other more expensive boxes. So here's the two that I did. The floral one is using the Mungyo Gallery Handmade Pastels and you'll be able to see with the florals that I think I'm able to make more interesting marks because of the texture and the softness of the pastel than I can with the jellyfish. If you can't afford expensive, don't let that stop you creating art. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. See you next time. Bye for now.